All right, it's recording. Um, um, I, I you're Bruce Nestor, yeah, I'm National Bruce Lawyers Nestor Guild. Yeah, National Lawyers Guild. And my understanding is that three people arrested so far have been charged with conspiracy to commit a riot, which is about as bogus a charge as you can manufacture as an excuse for preventive detention. Riot charges are often, often used for that same purpose, as we saw in August of last year, where Minneapolis arrested 19 people on, the, on a riot charge, none of whom were held or formally charged with riot and only two of whom were eventually convicted of minor traffic offenses. Conspiracy to commit a riot is really one uh, step beyond that. It just says you're uh, engaged in promoting or discussing uh, this very vaguely defined offense in the first place. Um, so it's clearly, in my view, an excuse to hold people and to detain people during the convention rather than any sort of a legitimate charge. If they had actual evidence for the criminal act, they would be charging people with specific crimes and not with this type of charge. Can you tell me whether you know of any other raids this morning? There's at least two other houses that have been raided in South Minneapolis, one on Harriet Avenue and one on 23rd Avenue. And they seem to be using the identical warrant to the warrant that was used to raid the Convergence Center last night. And how many pages long is that warrant in describing about things to be seized? two pages long. And, um, it, uh, we can see a copy of it here. Uh, it allows for everything to be seized from soap flakes to ignitable liquids, Molotov cocktails, photographs, maps of St. Paul, um, documents and communication between welcoming committee group members, paint and spray paint, urine and feces. I guess the cops would be poking their head into the toilets. And... Uh, Xboxes, MP3 players, all you know, basically anything in the house. I'm, okay. I'm going to take off. I want to talk to a few people. Okay.